The Booyah Darts Cup, hosted by the Dark Horse Classic in Sturdivant, Wisconsin. The weekend was a blast. If you weren't in attendance, there's always next year. The tournament was filled by 16 qualifiers, hosted online and open to anyone with the participating G3 Arachnid board. The qualifiers took place from September 11th to February 25th. The 16 winners from those qualifiers went directly into a 32-person final bracket, leaving 14 spots open to players who accumulated the most points over the 16 tournament time frame. Last year's champion, Leonard Gates, will also get an automatic bid into the final tournament. Accompanying him by the 16 qualifying tournaments are Kevin Luke, Mike Maloney, Jesse Johnson, Larry Butler, Dan Burke, Elliot Milk, Dason Alberts, who was not in attendance, Seth Stefano, Bob Anderson, Rick Henze, Danny Baggish, Dustin Holt, Juan Martinez, Ryan Gervais, Carlos Calderon, and Steve Scuba Steve Diker. Filling the rest of the bracket went off of point standings. Leading the pack is Brett Hollanday with 49, followed by Corey Beck, Jacob Koch, Tyler Montgomery, Garrett Rakowski, Shane Sugar Johnson, Darren Ackaby, Robert Wismith, Scott Majokovic, Demary Adam, Josh Cornelison, Jeffrey Johnson, Lavelle Sterling, Matt Gauthier, and Nick Yeast. The 32 and final person to enter the tournament was the winner of the on-site qualifier, Jake Adelfinger. Jake impressed the whole room with the averages of 40s and 5s and bounced back after getting knocked into the loser's bracket, taking out the likes of Cody Brunello, Darren Auckland, and Steve Hilger in his quest to double dip Skylar Lapine in the final. With a final field of 32 players, the seeds are determined with a round of count up, where each player has eight rounds to post the highest score. The shootout was sponsored by L-Style, which means the players were playing for more than just pole position, with a total purse of $1,200 for the top four finishers. Darren Ackaby takes the fourth seed with an impressive 911, and Kevin Luke taking the third position with a 925. The top two seeds were determined by some drama on the Friday night event. Here it is. Our top spot for the men is Mike Maloney with a 1,007 scoreline. Right now, Gates is looking hot to best this. That's a big 180 going into his last round. Needing just 21 points. Or 21, that was wrong. Uh, what was that? 23 points. My apologies. And he barely escapes it. He barely escapes it. And everybody yells in the background because they know he beat him by one point. Takes the one seed away from Mike Maloney. Well, here it is, folks. Six months of dedication to all the players and staff to present our final 32 for the 2023 Booyah Cup. The field was stacked with talent from across the entire U.S. of A. And a tournament of this caliber is great for the game. Danny Baggish held a tournament average of 6.0. And it still wasn't enough to hold off the dancing man, Leonard Gates, as he rose through Jake in round one. Baggish in round two, Garrett Rakowski in round three, Rick Henze in round four, and Kevin Luke for the hill, where the fans got what they wanted in a highly anticipated round two rematch for the finals. This very well could be 5-2 here if he would have hit some good stuff there. Did you see that? What? Did you see that? Yeah, if he just missed through. No. Baggish stopped him. Yep. Said those are closed. Yep. How about that from Danny Baggish? Yep. Wow. Yep. Four thousand dollars on the line, and Danny just halted him and said, "Hey, those are closed, man. You don't see that. Nope. You don't see that. Nope. Ever. That that just blew me away." Will Stewart live to capture a true moment of integrity from Danny Baggish. Unfortunately, after the miscount and 4-2 deficit, the man did the damn thing and it looked like he had a good time doing it. Congrats to all the players and Gates for being the back-to-back Booyah Cup champion. The first annual Women's Booyah Cup was also a success, where the up-and-comer Olivia Terry didn't give up as she forced match two of the double dip. But the veteran Paula Murphy was able to demonstrate her experience in a long-fought 4-1 to victory in the final. How good would this be? That's a double, double, double 18. Now the dart here for Paula Murphy. Booyah Cup. Women's.
champion, Paula Murphy. Wow. Oh, wow. Congrats to the ladies on an absolute banger of a finale. I had a great time at the Cup, and I'll see you next year. But we are off to lovely Las Vegas for the 2023 NDA Team Dart. A big thanks to Justine Gable Photography for all the professional pictures. Make sure to like the Facebook page. I want to thank anyone who has gotten this far. If you like this type of content, make sure you like and follow USA Darts so we don't catch you sleeping on the newest live streams. See you in Vegas.